Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker and today we're going to talk about motorized RVs, which are oftentimes referred to as motor homes or motor coaches. I'm going to discuss some of the reasons people choose this style of RVing, as well as quickly touch on each of the motor home classes. Let's start with a few of the main reasons people purchase motor homes and some of the quality of life components that come with a motor coach. First up is that because the home and motor portion are all in one, you don't have any sway while traveling, making the driving experience smoother than most towables. Plus, backing into a campsite can be much easier for beginners. You also don't have to deal with hooking up or hitching, unless of course you decide to tow a vehicle, a boat, or a trailer behind you. Most motor homes are also self-sufficient in that they have a generator to provide power to the coach no matter where you are. Another reason people like motor homes, and in my personal opinion, one of the best parts of owning a motor home, is the extra comfort the passengers get while traveling. Rather than having everyone crammed in an SUV or truck, everyone gets to spread out and have their space. Passengers can easily play games, take a nap, or sometimes even watch TV. Plus, many motorhome floor plans give you access to the bathroom and refrigerator while traveling. This can drastically cut down on the number of stops necessary, especially if you're traveling with smaller children. Lastly is the financial portion. Motorhomes are still tax deductible as a second home under the revised laws. Plus, because you're able to finance motorhomes for longer than you are most towables, that means your payments also aren't necessarily any higher than it would be with the fifth wheel. Many people are under the misconception that all motor homes are out of their budget. But look at it this way. If you're looking to purchase a new truck and towable RV, it may be the same price, if not less, to purchase a motor home instead. With both options, you're essentially purchasing a home on wheels and a motor to move it down the road. While there certainly are million dollar motor homes out there, most of them are affordable. Now that we've covered a few of the reasons people purchase motor homes, Let's go over the different types or classes. You essentially have three main classes, A, B, and C, all of which are available in gas or diesel chassis. I'll cover them in alphabetical order, which interestingly enough, also tends to be an order of average price point, but not necessarily size. Let's start with a class A. This is the big bus style of RV you see driving down the road. This is what big name music artists have and also what Greyhound buses or tour buses essentially are. The reason people love Class A's is mainly because of the space inside, power and torque of the engine, and incredible storage. If you're looking for maximum interior space in your motor home or you plan on hauling a 10,000 plus pound trailer, then a Class A may be the right fit for you. Next up is the Class B. Although it seems out of sequence with the Class A being the largest style of motorhome, the Class B is actually the smallest. However, as I mentioned, these tend to have higher starting price points than Class C's. This is mainly because of higher labor costs due to working in a more confined space. Class B's are essentially built on the same van chassis that many hotel shuttles and work vans use. Although these are smaller motorhomes, they offer big amenities. They'll generally have a fully operational kitchen and a bathroom with a sink, a shower, and a toilet. Oftentimes, these are a wet bath, which is essentially when you have a toilet sharing the same floor space as the shower pan. They usually also have a bed and a table. Plus, out of all the different classes of motorhomes, Class Bs are far and above the easiest to drive, as they drive just like your everyday vehicle, and they're certainly easier to park. If you're looking to travel around the U.S. and just spend a few days at each stop, or if you want to go hit up national parks and forests in a motorhome, then the Class B is a great option for you. The most popular type of motorhome is the Class C. These are easily recognizable by the large overhang over the cab. Class Cs are offered many different lengths and floor plans, giving you plenty of options to meet your needs. Also, out of all the motorhome classes, Class C's tend to be able to accommodate the most people when it comes to sleeping space. People love Class C's because they strike a perfect balance of size, storage, and affordability. Whether you want a tailgating machine, a family memory maker, or a couple's coach to tour the US, there's probably a Class C that can meet your needs. Thanks for joining me, folks. Hopefully, this video gave you a brief understanding of the differences between the motorhome classes and the advantages each class has. 
For more in-depth information, be sure to check out our reviews on YouTube for a complete walkthrough. If you're ready to start shopping, visit rv.campingworld.com and use our guided RV search to shop over 20,000 RVs. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping. Thank you.